Oi oi, welcome to my patch. I'm the Baldy Brit Bloke and this is my YouTube channel. Lunchtime. What better than a steaming hot bowl of chilli? If I can take you back to the previous video, the rear quarter on Colleen looked like it was ready to be welded into place. It was not, I found some hidden damage. In the next clip, I'll explain what happened. I just wanted to show you this. This bit here was actually bent out. The shock, when it had been hit, had pushed it up and caused this to, to bend and I'd flipping missed it. Such a muppet. And also checking closer, this is bent and I've got to straighten it out. There we go. It's a learning experience, a fun learning experience, but sometimes so flipping frustrating. But I guess that's why I do it. So rather than risk something being out of alignment at a later date further on in the project, I cut the existing panel out and put in a new replacement hinge panel from a donor cube. Oi oi, hello everyone. I have just figured out this morning how to record movies on my proper camera. So I thought before I go any further, I should give you guys a walk around on what I'm doing on Colleen. <laughs> that chirruping you can hear in the background is my budgies. I'll introduce you in the future. They're flipping cute. So here's the new re rear hinge panel for the back door or replacement hinge panel should I say and just quick um, overview of what I showed in the, the last video and also one or two bits I've done off camera so a new replacement floor panel new inner wheel arch has got to go in replacement valance across the back there quick side shot Saturday quick tail end Tuesday I think it was a Thursday and just showing you the rear valance again these screws up the side are just holding everything in alignment and it will soon be tack welded and those screws will be removed and I wanted just to show you what's happening before I started welding so I'm about to place in a little backing piece of metal here just to stop it flopping once it's done and I'm going to do the same up here put in a little piece of backing metal so I can weld the new one straight on top of that but that's my Colleen I'm really fond of her I hope that I can get enough subscribers so that I never have to get rid of her. And just quickly, this is another girl of mine. She's Sally. So I'll shut up now. And get working. Boo! The baldy brit bloke wearing a Canadian welder's mask. So here I am, rear door hung in, back quarter on, making sure everything lines up, taking out the, the self-drill screws and tack welding so that it's held in place. Now I know everything's held in place, it's just a matter of going around and tack welding everything and then going over it again and spot welding. Here's a little backing piece of metal in the step and here it is at the top where the rear quarter is going to be butting into the roof line. Measure twice, weld once. I'm spot welding here now. Fixing everything in place. So it was clamped, spot welded, clamps released or self drill screws released. Turn the sound off here because the noise of that wire brush is awful. I'm flushing off some of my spot welds even though they won't be seen. It's nice that everything's smooth. Alright, so what we've got to do now, what I've got to do now is flatten this and flatten this. 
snuffing these bits here when I ground out the old spot wells because this was all bent. And it's in view of putting the new, well, the pre used but new to me, wheel arch in here so that it sits flush, just as back where it needs to be, and all lines through. This is going to go there. So I have to make sure that this is all flat, all of these little dings that are pushing out this way are flattened. Wow, easy tiger. I wish I could work that fast. Colleen the cube would be done already. Confirming here that the newly welded inner wheel arch lines through correctly with the rear valance. So the front part of the wheel arch you see me working so industriously on, that wasn't affected by the accident. I know that that's square, I've checked the cross references and it's perfect, so I'm building off that point, aligning the wheel arch to make sure that it's in exactly the right place. Alrighty then, let's take a quick look inside the wheel arch so that you know what's going on. That's where I'm going to line it up. So I'm going to start at one end, work my way back. At this point, we know it's fixed. This is fixed, this bit. So we'll work our way back to here because this still has some movement. And then inside, I don't know whether you can see it, but I have run a focus, come on you beggar. I've run a black permanent marker line all the way around the old one. So that's going to help me line it up starting. Come on. Starting from there, working all the way up. Okay, good progress today. Got the spot belts done all the way around. Up beside the shock absorber support and around underneath there. So the two pieces of the wheel arch are aligned with each other, the inner wheel arch and the outer wheel arch which is existing. I just have to weld it now to the floor pan, it's still not fixed to the floor pan. Um, so that I'll do tomorrow, it shouldn't take too long. I just need to hammer that to meet the curvature of the floor pan and hammer the wheel arch that way. And then it will all line through. Progress is good. Put the quarter panel back on, just offer it up again. Just before I weld this piece. Because once I've welded that, there will be no movement. It will all be locked into place. I didn't end up welding the rear floor pan to the new inner wheel arch, deciding it was best to have the movement available while I installed the rear quarter panel. So, all lined up, got it camped in place, a few screws, self-drill screws 
and I've done a few little tack welds and I've just got to do some spot welds up the, the strut or uh, the shock absorber support which runs up to here and so I've just got to do a few little spot welds all the way through um, to hold that firmly in place. So let's do it. Okay, so this is the panel, the used quarter panel that so I'm going to put on Colleen. Um, I've got to run this round, bend it up slightly, all the way around, and that's what's going to wrap around the wheel arch, the inner wheel arch, um, that I'm going to put the panel adhesive round inside. But I've got to go around and bend this all up. Oi, oi, mind your fingers, Speedy Gonzalez. The adhesive that I'd bought had obviously been on the shelf for too long and it had gone off. So I've had to do it by hand, um, mix it by hand. The show must go on. As Freddie Mercury would say. So all I'm doing now is just going around gently clamping, crimping I guess it's almost like, just to make sure the adhesive has got a proper grab on both sides of the wheel arch. Um, and then it takes about 30 minutes to cure. We are on. There's no going back now. Oi, oi, don't give up the day job. Now what's going on with your face? Don't give up the day job. A lot of clamping, gently but firmly to make sure the adhesive spreads everywhere and the outer quarter panel has got proper grip 
on the lip of the inner wheel arch. Now I'm just checking to make sure that the adhesive spread everywhere as it's supposed to and as it should do. <laughs> Go on son, get in there. Thank you ever so much for watching, I really appreciate it. So I left it overnight curing. She's looking good, she's held good, she's lined up perfectly. The door gaps are perfect. On the next video we'll be looking at wheels. And now comes to the part where I say the usual YouTuber stuff. Please subscribe, please like, please share, please comment. Please comment, I want to know how to improve this. And until the next one, stay safe, stay well. Our prayers and thoughts are with you.